yeah hello everyone and welcome back to my new video and we'll be continuing with our previous lesson and in the previous lesson what we have learned about is and basic about the modules and the content pen areas and the functionality of AX so in this video we will go a bit further and look about the development area and the structure of the uh, structure of development and so in the previous video as we have seen about the content pen area so which is in this area content pen area so uh, when as a developer you should just keep a note on uh, when you develop certain forms and a report you should put under which uh, content pen and under which menu so if you see all of these are all as in menus so all of these are a menu item so when you develop certain reports or forms you should know under which area content pen area and under which menu items you are going to place it and most of the other things are in, on the functional side so your functional team will be uh, taking note on it so as a developer we just need to take a note on a development side so what we are going to do is now going to access and development area so you can click on this and select a new development workspace or just press ctrl shift and w so this actually and you can see over here aot uh, which is also called as an application object tree and under application object tree you can see a different nodes uh, from data directory to the system documentation all of these are what we call as uh, nodes and this is a structure of an AOT and you cannot modify or you cannot edit or you cannot add add a nodes on it because it's a uh, fixed by a framework so you cannot add edit or do anything on the node area so what we can do is when we expand over this let's say we are accessing our data directory and you see over here you have a uh, tables maps views extend all these are what we call as still a node and let me expand this table node and under table node what we see is in tables a lot of tables and this is called an object so what we can do is we can create delete edit any objects that we want but we cannot add or delete or edit any nodes it's already permanently fixed on by the framework so as a developer you should know that we are going to create an objects like tables forms uh, all of these are objects on an AOT but we are not going to create or edit or delete any nodes these are by system default so you cannot do anything on it so uh, data directory will contain all the tables areas and your enums and the extended data drives all are mentioned in a data directory and classes we'll be writing about the uh, classes and uh, methods we uh, will be writing on the classes area and on a form we'll be developing and putting our forms and on a report SSR report we'll be developing our reports and placing on over your reports area it's a report note and this is a visual basic project uh, this is the jobs and menus and menu items all of these are not so when we develop certain uh, menus we are going to put it over in the menus and when we develop the table we are going to place it on a table so you can come here and create a new table so when you want to create a table you must go to a table and create a new table and uh, the securities is all the permissions and privileges are all about in, in securities area so uh, this is a lesson basic on 
the narrative structure so what we can do and what we cannot do so what we can do is we can create a new uh, objects like classes tables and forms these are our objects and what we cannot do is we cannot uh, create a new node or we cannot edit a node and cannot delete a node so this is fixed by a system uh, system framework so we cannot do anything on it and i think that's all for this video and on the next videos and we'll be actually going and developing some uh, farms and projects so i think uh, this much for this video hope you this enjoy, uh, enjoyed this one and thanks for watching